Well, I thought I'd take you for a walk around my camp for this evening. As you may notice, I had to level the Forerunner quite a bit. I don't have my awning set up because I don't really need it. Got my fireplace set up. My bed set up. And I'll be talking about this in a minute, but I first want to show you around camp. It's a beautiful spot. I've been here once before, last year or year before, I can't remember. But that was a really windy camp. It is not windy today. There's a breeze, but it's not bad. Beautiful scenery. I'll show you another view in a minute. This is the road to get in here. That's my little secluded spot. Now there is, you may be able to see it. That's the main road in this area coming through. So I have seen quite a bit of traffic coming through here. It is fall and the colors have changed, especially down below or at lower elevation. And it was a cluster. There was a crap ton of people. I am certainly not the only one that's been camped here before. There's a couple fire rings. I'm parked actually on top of one. But there's the other one. There's the leveling of the Forerunner. This is a very nice spot. Even though it's right next to the road, it feels a little secluded when you're not hearing vehicles. And there's a nice little place to sit right over here. With a very nice view of this valley down here. There's some ponds down here. There's power lines, but they're a ways from, away from me, so that doesn't bother me. It's really beautiful up there. Especially the suns, when the sun's lower in the sky. You won't be able to see it, but I can see some snow up at the very top. Just stunningly beautiful, beautiful spot. Should be a nice night. There are some high clouds, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to get a night lapse. We'll see. Anyways, that's a quick walk around my camp. Now, let's talk about a couple new things that I've gotten in the last couple of weeks. I got this Molly system for the back of my Forerunner. I kind of wanted someplace else to store things. And uh, I like it so far. This is from Cali Raised. Easy to put in. Seems built well. One of the reasons I got Cali Raised is because it goes lower. It doesn't just cover the window, but the molly panel goes a bit lower, right above the wheel well. Nice spot to mount things. I got my ta paper towel holder. That is my kind of GSI cooking set. I have some other bags that I don't have stuff in there yet. But this one holds my faucet for my Dometic water tank. Obviously, first aid kit, tourniquet, and that I just have a few small things in. My wind gauge and the cable for my solar panel. Up top, blanket. That's my hose set for airing up and airing down. A couple jackets. I have a little fi mini fire pit that you can't really see there. 
And what, another reason I got this one is because this shelf sits up high. Now you can't have a lower shelf, but I wanted one to sit up high, obviously, because I sleep in here. So this looked like one of the highest ones available. And so that's another reason I got it. Uh, something else I have up here is a saw and a light. I don't really use it there, but it's a good place to keep it. Go to the other side. And I have, hopefully you can see it. This is my tablet holder for when I watch a movie, which I forgot my tablet. So no movies for me this evening. Oh well, what are you gonna do? So, has a nice little guard to protect things from falling this way. It, they will fall back, but that back blanket kind of holds things in very secure, very securely. All right, so that's my new Molly system for the back of the Forerunner. The next item I'm going to talk about is this light right here. This is from. Outtask, and oh, there's a motorcycle going by, so you may hear that, and there's a plane going by, so you may hear that. And this thing's really cool. Obviously, the feet are magnetic, so it sits right here, right above my cooking area. And so, very convenient for that. I have lights mounted to my roof rack, but when I deploy my awning, those things suck. They get blocked by the cover for the awning. This thing is really cool. You can hang it. You can hang it upside down. There's a little loop there. So you can hang it upside down. These legs just close. I try to do this one-handed without pinching my fingers. Button with a little power display. You should probably do this outside of the light. There's a little power display. You may not see the LEDs, but fully charged. This is the only button. So this is how you turn it on, change modes. It has a bright white light and uh, kind of a yellow light. And I'll put some shots of the white light and the yellow light in about here. To open this, the legs up. Gotta press that button while you're not holding it. A little hard to do one-handed. Got it. So you can just have it sitting on something. This telescopes. Again, trying to do this one-handed. Excuse me. So that's the maximum height. Pretty tall. This light also swivels all around. So you can see, I can turn it, swivel it. So you can point it almost any direction. Very cool. This is a really cool little light. This company, Outtask, sent me this to try out. I paid for the Molly panels, but this company, Outtask, sent me this to test it. And so far, I like it. I took it on one other camping trip because I always want to test things before I mention them on my channel. And I like it. It's very cool. Put it back up here. The only thing I would say is I wish the magnets were a little bit stronger because this can fall off. Now, I can slam the door and it doesn't fall off, but just makes me a little bit nervous that it will fall off. And uh, obviously, I don't care about my paint. It, I, it hasn't scratched anything yet, but I suppose it could if you drag it around. But it pops off pretty easy, so you don't really have to force it. Just tilt this down to my cooking area, and I'm all set. So there you go. They also offered me a 10%, uh, I think it's a 10% discount code. So if you're interested, interested in this, 
There'll be a link down below and a, a coupon code in the description. So if you're interested, pick one up. I like it. Forgot ice.
Well, it's been a fantastic camp. Really enjoyed myself last night, enjoying watching the stars. It ended up being clear and I was worried there was going to be high clouds, but there weren't. Hopefully the night laps came out uh, nicely. We'll see. I know I was pointed at the Milky Way at the beginning of it. I don't know how long that lasted. And now I'm just enjoying my coffee with a little fire. Good thing about the gas fire pit. Just turn it on and turn it off. Watching the sun come over the mountain behind me and enjoying the pretty view. It's spectacular out there as well. Then I'm going to slowly pack up camp and go home and edit this video. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Actually, just go ahead and do it and give this video a like. And if you have any questions or comments, you know what to do. Thanks for coming along. Grumpy Gobbler. Out. Awesome. Spectacular. Brilliant. Wonderful. Ah.